Good morning from Reed's house. <laughs> Reed uh, graciously is hosting me. You'll see him in a sec. But uh, this is a progress so far. I know I, I left, uh, not in a hurry, but uh, we were just working, 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 me and Miles. So the deck is on, except for one board because it was really curvy. Uh, still need to wire the solar panels. Need to install this window before I leave. Well, I'd prefer to. Across from me, this is Reed's new bus. So, like I said, the deal was, I told Reed I would find him a bus. I, told him I would find him a very good bus. And, uh, you know, he's helping me out. He's kind of learning. Well, not, not that he needs to, like, learn. But <laughs> school buses are inherently different. But uh, Reed's bus, 2010, with a rebuilt engine with 11,000 miles on the rebuilt engine, brand new turbo. It's a 2010, 145,000 total miles. <laughs> you guys are gonna watch this, you wanna watch this build because Reed's a good builder. All right, so this is the state of my bus. Got the seat in. Uh, amazing seat by the way so thanks again Jamie for that uh, rides like a dream it took me a good 24 hours to load the bus in it might seem like a lot of time but I also had stuff like thrown about in the shop so I had to organize things put it in boxes I utilized a lot of the cabinet space um, utilize the bathroom we're going to finish this thing up before I head out. We're also going to be working on the water system today. I have my tank. The water heater is already installed. The propane tank I'm buying off uh, one of the guys at the shop. Uh, horizontal tank. Exactly the same one I had before, which they don't sell anymore. They just sell the bigger one. We're going to put that in. At some point, we're going to put in the systems, um, run the lines for the propane, have the stove in, have the sink in, get myself a nice faucet, all that fun stuff. Eric was right. This wood looks so much better in natural light. It's amazing. I am so thrilled with the countertops. So, anyways, let's get to work. Hey, look who showed up. It's Miles. How's it going, guys? Miles with the tiles. Miles, what did you do your foot today? I put a nail through it. <laughs> Miles stepped on a rusty nail and has to go get a tetanus shot. Yep. I hope uh, my thoughts and prayers are with Miles. <laughs> um, Alright, check this out. Reed just wrote up like the best schematic ever for our water system. If anybody wants a copy of this, please do. Do you want to run us through what we're doing? Okay, so, bar comes in, right? You have your fill line, goes to your tank. The vent will go to the top of the tank. Your land, in case you're hooked up to something. Or, or also known as city water. City water, right? So you're, you're hooked up there. You have a check valve. This is a T right here. All right. So you have the three quart coming in from your uh, city water. You have a check valve. So that way, if you're running off your tank and your pump is running, it can't push back through to your uh, city water. And then go out out the bus on the exactly. side. Exactly. And vice versa. Conversely, if you're running your your city water, you have a check valve going back to your pump before the pump, so you don't burn out your pump. So the water you know only goes one direction. Is that a band? Is that your favorite band? No. <laughs> My daughter liked One Direction. When I was teased her, it was two directions. Both lines will go to the filter. which oh, is And by the uh, filter, we are talking about this one that Badge recommended, uh, some RV water filter. Right. Yep. So then whether you're, you're going off city water or your tank, you go through the filter. Then it goes into your system, three-quarter, okay? Half of it gets split off into your hot, half of it goes to the rest of the house, right? Mm -hmm. So then, you're, then you have hot and cold coming out off of your hot, and that Excellent. can go wherever it needs to go. Awesome. So th this uh, tank, yeah, tank up, pre-filter, so we don't mess up the filter like pneumatic movement did. No offense. <laughs> uh, uh, then to your pump, Mike's done it too, I think. Uh, and then down, even badge. We've all done this. So put a pre-filter on is what I'm saying. And those little screens can save you $100 like with one of these guys. Just make sure you don't drain your whole thing when you're trying to replace them. Um, but yeah, so tank, pre-filter, pump, and then... Phew. You should put a drain valve somewhere at the lowest point of wherever your system is. So in case you get stuck somewhere, no power, no gas, no nothing, you don't blow your whole system up by having it full of water. Gotcha. Or otherwise you'd have to run your whole system and then drain it. 
All right, let me update you guys on, on life and also read what were the wise words of wisdom I told you when you're building a school was half your time. They spent figuring sh stuff out. <laughs> um, In other words, you live at Home Depot. Well, or Lowe's yeah, or like, like Ace. Like stuff, you know. I mean, RV stuff has like crappy little, you know, like basically garden hose. And we're not doing a garden hose application. This is a, a home application. Yep. And it'll last twice as long. It won't be, you know, chintzy and rinky dink. And, <laughs> and in my opinion, you know, it's not going to be uh, bush league. Right. So <laughs> when you're building a school bus, half of your time is spent going back and forth and getting supplies at the hardware store. Also, Ace is the place. I forgot if I mentioned it <laughs> uh, yet, which was yesterday in our time earlier in the video. Uh, if you are planning on doing PEX or plumbing or anything to do with these RV tanks, don't you, you will not find all the supplies at the box, the big box hardware stores. You're going to have to go to some local place. Um, last time I didn't get the correct size uh, insert, which left me with a larger tube going to something that didn't quite fit up there. Um, so anyways, the lesson to be learned is go to the local hardware store for... Uh, Lots of plumbing stuff. Um, now when you're buying lumber, schluter board, tiles, you know, go wherever you want. But for this kind of stuff, you're going to have to go to the small. Ace is a great place. <laughs> it really is. Not sponsored, but hey, Ace, if you want to link up, have there my people call your people or vice versa. Uh, left on my to-do list, I need to put one of those where uh, somewhere over here where we put the window back in. I don't even know where it went. Anyways, over here somewhere. I've got to put this yellow metal back in there. Another thing to do is this window. I need to cut that out for my beautiful brand new RV window. Another thing, uh, Reed suggested putting lights here and on the other side. So if that's the case, I'm going to have to do some creative wiring through our uh, wire chase that we have with the little pecs. Also, another thing I didn't realize, we have a vent for this uh, composting toilet, which doesn't yet exist. But I realized 12 volt fan is going to need 12 volt power. So we're going to have to run some wires before this gets all buttoned up. And thank God it's not buttoned up because we're still kind of adding to it. And for all you guys wondering why I didn't have all this stuff wired before, like I said, I don't have a background in building. I didn't quite have this thing all planned out. But um, it's working. It's fine. So if anybody's like me and are just kind of figuring it out, you can run wires between the wood and the spray foam. Uh, that's not the way Reed would do it, but, you know, he's got a lot more... Systems! <laughs> Start with experience. systems first. Yeah. Okay? Like, uh, unless, you're, unless you're an amateur. Oh, who's race car parts? A badge. Badge, like badge says race car parts? Start with systems first. Plan out your systems, build everything around them. Right. That in, uh, I'm guessing a, 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 a layout would help. Uh, before you do that. Anyways. Just a, a simple drawing. A simple drawing. Anyways, let's get to work. All right. I know this is a very custom mod. Most people won't be doing this, but uh, I uh, removed some of the reflector, reflective strip. This is where we put the windows back in and uh, the part without the yellow paint goes at the top. And uh, anyways, you saw how it was installed just a second ago. <laughs> Having a hard time here, one-handed. But um, basically, yeah, it's a perfect match. You can't even tell once this thing is in. You, besides this giant square piece, you won't really even tell what used to be here. So this is a final piece. This is what we were missing. This is what uh, is extra over at the shop. They have these lying around because you know when they do the roof raises, this part gets air hammered out and then discarded. Ran into a little problem. I drilled the holes, I put in the screws with the face plate, but what's happening is that it, it also drilled into this slide mechanism part of the window. You can see it, maybe you can see it wiggling around in there, I don't know. Uh, so that's not going to work. Now, because I used a product called Panel Bond, I feel relatively safe clamping it and using Panel Bond. Uh, I'll have to do that once I get back at the shop. Um, so we'll just have to wait on that fix and uh, I'm just gonna run around the bus and see if, there, if there's something else I can fix. <laughs>
I just made Reed a little sad. We had to kill Rocket Man by Elton John. No. Who's that by? It's by uh, Elton John. <laughs> All right, Reed. What did you do to my bathroom? To my to my plumbing? So if you look at the at the uh, schematic that we have here. Yep. Okay, and you follow from the street. Yep. There is a uh, backflow valve right there in line. Yep. See it? See where the arrow's pointing? Yep. I, I think I could actually explain this. We've, we've Then you go for it. You think... I'm, I'm going to let you explain this. Okay. Do your, do your thing. Okay, here's how, here's how this is going to work. This is a gravity feed. The gravity will f gravity feed down to here. Okay. Not, and not to take you off the horse, but... That's I, I think I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud that, that I am learning and that... This is super simple. <laughs> super simple. All right, so city water comes in here. City water is, you know, the garden hose, you know, when you... Hookups, RV people. Should, comes in, should come in at 60 pounds uh, per square inch. Awesome. This is a check valve. So that means one-way water. So when the pump is on... Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so city water comes in here, tees into there. And then you see the city water could go that way, except there's a check valve. So the city water only has a opportunity to go this way through the filter and then to the water system, to the heater that splits off. The cold continues this way. Uh, water continues up. It turns into hot water, comes down here, and there's a pressure relief valve. Then the water goes up to wherever it wants to go, this way or that way. Water from the tank comes out here, goes up, goes through the screen to the pump through a check valve. That means it's one way. Now it comes down here, and then obviously the water pressure is going to push this way. It's going to stop at the check valve, right? That's why we have them. So it comes through here, comes through the pump. Now it continue, cold water can, oh, sorry, continues through the filter. Thank you, Reed. <laughs> you see uh, that bracket I made? Which one? Oh yeah, this one. It looks so, it looks so high quality. I, I didn't even, I, I, like it was supposed to be. It was meant to be. Yeah.